Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Leo Sun, Leo Moon and Leo Rising weekly Tarot and Lenormand reading for November 19th to November 25th, 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just going to be a, a general reading for Leo Star Sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, um, <clears throat> in this video, I will do my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and uh, as well their synergy in the spread, but at the end it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings, please check out my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. And as Christmas is approaching, there is a, as well a Christmas deal uh, that concerns the uh, 20 and 30 minute service, which is to save you some money in case you are interested in purchasing. So that being said, um, <clears throat> going to the tarot spread first, we do have a, a pretty important week for uh, Leo. Now this resides here with the chariot card falling into a, a first position which is the topic of the week. The second position is to be the uh, page of wands and that is about the core of the situation. The third position is the page of pentacles which is the challenges that needs to be overcome. And the last one we do have the eight of swords which is the, the guidance which Taro is offering to Julius. So what we have here with the chariot card is about a, it's not a struggle, but it is more like a, a drive for independence. Now this card points that you are to make a, or you are to have the opportunity to make a, a very brave and as well big steps forward, either regarding career or either regarding relationship that are to make you more independent of your environment and of your strengths or the conditions that you are following at this very moment. Nonetheless, this card as a chariot, the very generic interpretation is a, a victory against all odds. So you do have a, a tremendous potential here throughout this week, Leo, really to push yourself to the limits and to achieve things or uh, you know to solve problems as well um, and to reach a, an achievement which in normal circumstances in other weeks in the previous week for example were seemingly uh, unachievable. Uh, the chariot card however uh, comes with a, a bit of warning and that is a warning of uh, ignorance, that is a warning of cockiness as well and it is a warning of um, a very uh, premature break with the past and with the past circumstances as well. That is especially uh, in play when it comes to personal relationships and I'd like to give you that example here uh, let's say that you are single for a quite a while and now the chariot card could represent the opportunity for you to make change into that field you know to make the brave step moving on forward into changing that status uh, which represents to a, a op opportunity for a new relationship however uh, that opportunity uh, could be taken very lightly from your behalf and you may uh, kind of involve yourself way too prematurely into it without making the research needed for whom you are going into relationship with. Now that is very important here with the chariot card. Also, uh, as we do have the chariot into a, a prime position here, the topic of the week, a determination to, um, to succeed in whatever you are doing, either career or relationship wise, should be a mandatory for you as well as a uh, iron will to uh, to achieve it because the chariot itself sitting into that position it uh, says that it's not going to go without any competition and without any uh, resistance as well and we can see that here in these couple of cards but we are to go there in a minute so the second card which is pointing to the core of the situation or why the chariot is taking place the page of wands it's uh, representing your character into this reading and literally what it says is that you are realizing 
that you can do it on your own or rather like you can rely entirely on your personal strength and capabilities to pull this thing through whatever that thing for you is because for every single leo is going to be a different thing you know for one is going to be starting a new job for others is going to be reconciliation for third are going to be is going to be just you know going on a vacation and etc etc the thing with the page of wands is that you are to realize you know that even again even if you don't have anybody there to support you you know you can pull the whole thing through on your own and in reality you don't need anybody to help you with your enterprise and with your um, and with your undertaking even more the page of wands it's a very peculiar card it, it basically points to the starting of a certain passion on your behalf so that was a, a passionate idea that you do had in the past probably in the past couple of weeks or in the past month all right and uh, you couldn't find the exact opening uh, where when you should initiate it well this these cards here are pointing that the opening is to be offered to you in this particular week although these cards does not they are not very well compatible all right the uh, the more passionate the idea is then the less struggle you are to see through the chariot card and yet the more passionate the idea is the more danger you do have to jump into it prematurely without making your research about what you are to deal with further into the future the page of pentacles is the predicament sits as a person that will be around you although not uh, directly connected to that enterprise still is going to be a pain in your um, <clears throat> in your feet here for um, the milder expression and not the vulgar one the page of pentacles points to a person that is going to basically um, interfere with uh, with that undertaking of yours and interfere i'm using this word as a lack of better terms let's say that they are going to basically um try to involve you to involve themselves in it no different than for example um you know when you are dating somebody and then out of the blue a, a friend of yours gives an opinion that you haven't asked them to give that opinion to you or um, if a friend of yours does not like the person that you are dating they are kind of like making the things even harder you know putting on a, a predicament um, in between you and that person for some reason because they don't like you know that you are uh, now occupying yourself uh, your time more with someone else and above everything else that you are becoming more independent of them than they would like to the page of pentacles is a very conservative person someone that has really strong beliefs not in their self-righteousness but rather into the generic state of the situation so as you are now detaching yourself from them and uh, you are going into a, a different direction your direction they are to cause predicaments to you you know um, kind of like uh, obstructing you from uh, moving toward what you yearn for in any way that they can the good thing here is, is that the page of pentacles it's rather very um, slow card so uh, if you are rather more sec secretive about your uh, intentions, more surreptitious here, it is unlikely that they are going to kind of warm up about what it's all about and uh, you are to catch them completely, completely unprepared here. And, um, <clears throat> you know, while they are thinking how to prevent you from being independent from them, uh, the whole deal is going to be sealed already, either regarding career or either regarding relationship for that matter and the last card that we do have this is to be uh, the the eight of excuse me the eight of swords and in that specific case this card points that you should not allow anybody to basically mess up with your thing that is the guidance no matter how um, tough it's going to be sometimes you need to just say no you know this need, 
this is not your place or if they give you a, a negative opinion about something that you really like you can counter them with who you, who asked you anything you know so it's it's uh, you should not allow what the card points here in this specific uh, conditions is that you should not allow anybody to give a direction to your life and to uh, basically manipulate you to follow uh, or to abandon a, a, a certain goal of yours. Uh, surely, you know, not every uh, Leo are to end up successful or rather like happy of how this is to unfold, you know, because our situations are different. But at least you have done this on your own accord and you are to learn the lesson from it, which lesson will be a very sound one that is going to prepare better for whatever challenges are to come in your future. And that's why <clears throat> this week is going to be a, a strive for independence so you can face it let's say on your own and not that much but it's rather like to experience it uniquely so that being said this was your uh weekly tarot reading and now we are going to the uh, lenormand one now the lenormand cards are to show us a uh, event that you should either look forward to or um, if that doesn't suit you you should try to avoid it so let's see what we got here now the first card this is going to be the scythe and the scythe stands for cutting the next card it stands for harvesting and as well it stands for doing with we do have uh, the birds which are standing for social media phone call or gossips and the last one that is to be the heart which is standing for love commitment and uh, basically partnership so what you are to do here is render incapable and futile a gossips about a commitment of yours, love of yours or a um, partnership of yours. So what we do have here is, is that this person that I spoke about marked with the page of pentacles is going to uh, try to influence you know your new direction that you are doing the brave steps toward the new direction with gossips they will try to pollute your environment with fraudulent statements and it is what you are to seize here with the Lenormand cards that are showing and you are to sap it to render it incapable and that unfortunately you know may kind of like uh, banish away this person from your environment but I think that that is going to be for the better even if you had considered that person for a, a very good friend thus far so that being said Leo this was your weekly tarot and Lenormand reading and I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it uh, and again that was just a general reading for Leo star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore in this video I tried my best to explain you the meanings of the cards and their synergy in the spread but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you well that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings and if you do so don't forget that the christmas is coming and there are Christmas deals for the 20 and 30 minutes service that it is a live reading. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.